Okay, guys. Hey, everybody. I'm like totally early today. <laughs> I'm right on time. How exciting is this? Moderators Cheryl and Vandana. There's Carrie. Hi, Carrie. And Joanne and Patricia. And we got Becky and Twisted Art Lady and Mary. Hi, Doris. And most crazies flowing canvases in the house. Yasmin from Sweden. Welcome. And who else? Melody, Shelly, Kristen. Hi guys. Britain, Mrs. White. I don't know who you are, but I am glad to see you here. And hi, Karen. And hello for Deanne from Minnesota. Ken, British Columbia, Canada. That's awesome. And Yasmin. Road trip, let's go. I don't know your name, but you can tell Cheryl what your name is and we'll try to remember it next time you come around if you want. And hi, Carrie from Coffs Harbor. I think I said hi already. So, first of all, can you believe I'm on time? <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I don't feel rushed today at all. And part of the reason is because we're testing, pre we're t we're testing a kit by Arteza today and it's the paint pouring starter kit and it's already all mixed up so I didn't have to mix up very much paint today. I just mixed up a little tiny bit just in case I wanted a few extra colors. So that's what I did. Hi Elaine and Giselle. Welcome so much from Montreal, Quebec and it's the first time you're watching anything live. That's so exciting that you're here on Heather Meter Art for the first time. Um, oh, there's so much to go over because I haven't been alive for so long. But the first thing I want to do is, um, real quick, look at this really adorable little painting fairy that I got. I want to show you. Is she so cute? so 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 cute she's all fluffy and bendable um and she's an ornament and she is by my fairy tale sales and this is lance taylor he's an artist and he says this is your flower fairy for art and inspiration you can put her on your holiday tree or hang her in your prominent spot in your studio where she can bring you luck and inspire your paintings all year long I just thought that was so cool. Lance does all kinds of beautiful ornaments and um, and a bunch of other things. So you'll have to check, look at her pretty little blinged out flower on her. She's just adorable. Look at those wings. She's so cute. So she's gonna hang on my easel and that's where she's been this whole time. But just for right now, I'm gonna hang her over off to the right here and she can bring me some luck because I feel like I'm gonna need it. I haven't painted since the last time that we painted together and think about how long that's been. Uh, Julie Vatcher is here. She's in the house. Hi, Bobby. So um, Lance is here with us right now. Um, if you have any questions for him, he does, um, you know, be sure to ask him why he's here in the chat with us. And he makes all those ornaments to your specifications. So. You can leave the details in the comment section um, or just ask him. I also, uh, I think Cheryl has a link for you too. 
So, so many things, so many things. Um, first of all, I'm on this white line thing. Um, I've been using these Arteza pens. They come in a pack of 12 or three. And they've been sold out and now they're back in. So if you want something to embellish your artwork, I'm gonna show you what I've been doing with these. First things are some things that you've probably seen already, but I couldn't stop myself from embellishing them. Um, oh, let's see, where is my microphone? You bring up a good point, Carrie. I'm realizing my microphone is far away. <laughs> How about this, is that better? Oops, let's see if this is any better. Carrie, is that better? Can you guys hear me better now? Can you guys hear me now? Okay, that's awesome. Because I don't want to have to like yell the whole time. That would be terrible. All right, so first thing is, um, hi Marcy, nice to see you here. Thank you. So. Some of you guys may have seen some of these things already, but I'm going to show you I could not stop with these white pens. So remember the pour? I think I did this on a live. I wanted to show you the results of this with the white pens. Isn't that pretty? I embellished all of my little balloon rolls. Um, and I just love the way that turned out. This is in my shop, if you're interested. It's a 16 by 20, and I love the way that turned out. So I've... Uh, the the last painting that we did with all the high flow that sold <laughs> it sold so fast I can't even show it to you guys so um, I embellished it with the white pens here is another one I did um, I don't know if you remember this one or not but look at this gorgeous canvas and look at how the white pens just bright you just brighten it up. I just love how it brings up, like this is my favorite one right here. I'm kind of in love with that. And um, and for those of you who normally watch Tish at the Artist Haven, she is going to let us know the next time that she goes live. She's not live right now as she normally would be, but she uh, is going to let us know she's going through some family things so we all wish her the best of course um yeah i love this one too beth and honestly it's really hard to tell but the prison pour that's in here is just stunning uh, um the metallics are just ridiculously beautiful but i don't know why it just doesn't capture on camera so there's that and then i kept so then i thought oh my gosh this would be <laughs> fun to work on a big one that I've been, wait, I can't even get it all in there, can I? All right, well, we'll focus on some parts. Um, there's one of my little balloon roll embellishments. Now this one, I'm probably gonna just keep going. This is just like me playing around with the um, embellishments. And I'm loving bringing out just certain balloon rolls there's just something about it just makes this piece even more special this is a really really pretty now this is a sister painting to the original um, which I also have still and I may not embellish the original I don't know this is an 18 by 24 that's a pretty big one um, so oh Lance did you buy the acrylic markers yeah now I want to give you guys a heads up this is a warning do not use the Liquitex, Liquitex high gloss varnish over the top of these, or you may lose some of your lines. I'm, I'm warning you. Um, so you need to use a, some kind of sealer over the top first if you want to use that Liquitex varnish. So, uh, And then I have to tell you all of these commissions I've been getting for these beautiful paintings. Now these are my alcohol ink paintings. And I keep getting more and more commissions for these. Um, if you're interested in having a commission made for you, 
you can let me know. Um, isn't that pretty though? There's a lot of shimmer to this one. I really love it. And this is a, someone saw my video on this and, and I said I was open to commissions and I just, they just started rolling in. So I think I've sold like five or six of these um, in the past few weeks. So that one, I know I'm, I'm in love with it, but I have to tell you, <laughs> I'm in love with this one. I haven't shown it anywhere. This is the first time I'm publicly showing the whole thing, by the way. So thanks for joining me on my live. You get to see brand new things. Um, this is the 12 by 12 and I'm, I'm in love with this painting right here. This is also a commission. I can do a commission for you in any color. I happen to just love the combination of these colors right here. Um, and that butterscotch, just that flower right there. I'm just going to indulge myself just a little bit, but that flower right there. <laughs> I just think it is so stunning. It's like a stained glass window. Actually, all of these kind of remind me of stained glass. You know, my mom used to have a stained glass studio when I was a kid. And we used to have to help her cut out and foil all of those little pieces of stained glass. So, yeah, really pretty. The link to buying these, please use my Arteza affiliate links where you get a coupon. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me. Or you could buy them through Amazon, which also helps me a little bit if you want to help your favorite artist. That's one way to do it and no cost to you. All right, I'm moving those out of the way. Now, on to this little project. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Sharon. I'm so sorry. I just said Cheryl. Um, hi, Selena. Nice to see you here and Julie B. And yeah, nice to see you guys. So this is what we're testing today. Arteza has this little kit and it's a starter kit. You know, my rep every now and again will just send me something and she's like, well, you want to try it? And I say, okay, because, you know, it would be nice. Um, so I thought, I haven't even looked at this yet. I thought I'm just going to open it right with you guys. I know that... Let's just open it together, shall we? And then we can see. Wow. Okay, so that comes with tips and tricks. Y'all know I probably don't need a lot of the tips and tricks in here, but it's just showing you how to pour things into a cup and to do. That's adorable right there. So, but if you're brand new to paint pouring and you never ever done any paint pouring, this might be a way to go to start because um, it can be intimidating mixing the colors the first time so or if you just like if you like doing this as a little hobby on the weekend and you just don't have a lot of time or energy this might be a good way to just start um, it looks like it comes with all of these colors a couple of wooden a little what are they, wooden discs I think they call it I don't know Let's see. Bandana, is that how you started? <laughs> I don't remember what the name of these are, but they're two little wooden discs. Wood rounds, yeah. And then um, a drop cloth, because we all know this stuff is not, uh, this is messy. This is a messy hobby, everyone. So you get a little drop cloth. You get these little glitter. This one looks like a silver metallic and a gold metallic glitter which you know I probably won't use unless it was resin I'm not a real glitter person there is a wow a palette knife thank you well Heather it's been a long week okay and uh, gloves which we all know you need and a couple of um, cups which I actually like I right away I noticed they have milliliters and ounces so that's kind of a great way um, to keep track of you know what you're gonna need I you know me I don't hardly ever use <laughs> I don't measure anything even when I cook it's hard to get me to measure things okay so I just I'm an intuitive kind of creator I guess would be the word all right so you get all of these colors um, 
it looks like red, lavender, green, blue, and then a whole set of neons. Green, blue, purple, pink, orange, those are all neons. These must be metallic, gold and silver, and a white. So yellow, red, lavender, sea green, blue, and black for the other colors. Now, supposedly these are all just like ready to pour and we don't have to do anything. So I'm hoping that's true because I don't want to do anything. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Now, oh, okay. So now I'm gonna give my little, like, first of all, Arteza doesn't pay me anything. They send me products to try, and I love a lot of their products, and I use them, obviously, in my work. But I want you to know, they don't pay me. So I'm going to be honest about my reviews of their products, and I'm going to be straightforward with you about this. These are canvas panels. These are 12 by 12 canvas panels, and this little thing is to, my assumption, is to keep your canvas up off of the, there we go. So it's to give you a little lift, which I, I, I love that. I probably will use it again and again, truthfully. So that's awesome. But this is my, uh, canvas panels are not my favorite for paint pouring. Now, I've used Arteza canvas panels before and I've done little paintings, little flower dips, and I find that they just kind of warp a little bit. So if you can, I suggest you use canvas instead of these panels. Panels are great for, um, I would say, actually I can probably think of something we could do with these panels uh, within the scope of this session and I'll sh I'm will i gonna do that uh, so, so my mind just like no nah, Heather you could use them somehow but I wouldn't recommend them for traditional paint pouring and I think this is the difference when you know a company comes up with a product that's necessary or needed and they see the market for it but they may not be paint pourers themselves so um, you know they they're doing the best they can but the truth is those panels can warp, and no one wants to make like a beautiful painting and then have it warp. So I would suggest using their stretch canvas, and I love all of their canvases. I love the way they're packaged. Um, I have never gotten one that was I found that I felt was, you know, flat uh, in, you know, that was like saggy or anything. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. People, I don't know. People say they don't warp, and I, I found that they do, and that's just me. Now, hey, I live in Oregon. It is super wet here. I live in a very wet environment. I'm wondering if you live in like Arizona or somewhere in Wyoming where it's real dry. Maybe they don't warp. Maybe it's just the time it takes for them to dry that causes the issue. So I don't know. But however, whatever the reason, they don't work for me. Um, but this little eight pack, like just, I just like their canvases in general. I'm just gonna say that. So we're still gonna use this little 10 by 10. And um, I wanna make sure this is totally level. That's one thing you wanna do. I wanna make sure that this is completely pushed in as far as it'll go. And that it's completely level. I'm curious if it is level. I almost like to check that, but it looks pretty good. It's pretty level. Let's see. Okay. I was so excited to come here today. <laughs> I just want you all to know. Thank you, Janice. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You guys want to support the channel. That's a great way to do it. A super chat. And I can acknowledge you right here and, and right here and now. Um, and uh, otherwise you can leave a tip in the tip jar, which is always appreciated. Now, 
let's do this because I'm gonna have to open some of these paints and I also made I want you to know because I can't just do pre-mixed colors because of my I don't know if it's OCD or whatever it is I did make these are paints that I've had for like three weeks so I just made sure that they were fresh there was like no skin on top of them or lumps or anything that had you know started in there and um I just kind of refreshed them a little bit so we do have a few extra little colors to play with here just for fun and um I'm gonna we're gonna have to open some of these so I'm gonna pick some let's see Hold on one second. I did make a little note for myself, but of course I can't find it now. Okay. So, let's see. First thing I want to show you is um, the thing about the Arteza paints, and this is what I've noticed in the past is we well, gotta shake them so you have to do that and make sure they're all shaken up and then they have a little you know one of these and I don't want to use my mouth to open that up because I'll end up with paint on my mouth I just know it You guys, um, so Christy Morgan, like I see you're just now saying beautiful, makes me think that maybe you're in top chat instead of live chat. So if you guys um, make sure you're in live chat mode so you can stay right with me and with what's happening, that would be fun, more fun for you. All right, that's Thalo Blue we're going to use, and we're going to use um, this sea green color I think and let's see well it looks like even if you peel that part off there is a little let me make sure this one is mixed up I hope you guys have been well I can't tell you how much I missed you so did you guys see my giant, giant painting? It's the most popular video I've ever had on my channel. And if you missed it, you missed out. Um, true. That's just really true. So if you missed it, try to find it. It is the commission pouring. It's the giant dips, the three foot by four foot dip. And it was a really, really beautiful um, painting video, and I'm very proud of it. Now, next is coming a video. Uh, one thing that's coming is a video on commissions, because I think it went so well. I know that dip was huge, wasn't it? Um, it literally like a three foot foot by four foot dip, and it was so fun. <laughs> And it worked out perfectly, I thought, and um, it went, a lot of work went into that canvas, and the client was very happy. And then people really talked about how they enjoyed the part where I talked about the commission. So I think that my next video is going to be on how to do commissions, uh, just another more in-depth tutorial on commissions, and it's going to be alcohol inks, because I've got all these alcohol ink um, commissions that have come up. So I, instead of using Arteza's Big Cup, which I love these actually, I'm gonna actually save them. I don't know, poor Arteza wants me to probably use them on camera or something, but I'm gonna use some little cups because we have a little canvas for one thing, but also because those big ones would be great for, excuse me, for resin and I'm about ready to do like a resin project. <laughs> Thank you. I know, Tara, my brother, oh my gosh. Well, Twisted Art Lady, congratulations, first of all, for your um, most popular video. That's wonderful. And for those of us who are content creators, 
man, we work really hard, and when people get to see what we do, we're really happy, so that's great. Tara, my brother, was hilarious. You should he was so stressed out. It was so adorable, but I just didn't want to, you know, call it, he, I didn't want to call him straight out on camera like that, so I decided to edit out the, and plus it was long, it took us a long time to do that dip, um, but I sped it up like 20 times or something, so. And, um, hi Mar Marcia or Marcia, I'm so sorry, I can't remember, I know you told me last time on how to pronounce your name, and hi Paula. Miss Paula, nice to see you so, nice to see you here. And here we go. Let's see what we're going to do. I don't know, Carrie, how are you missing my videos? I did a beautiful video. Oh, you guys, the one thing I, I think I forgot to show you. There's one thing before I get my station all messed up. My project. Did you guys see my beautiful alcohol ink jars? Look at these I made. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, pretty. You know, if you want to see your favorite art artist, YouTube rarely sends notifications. What they do send notifications for is the big channels. So if you have a big channel, you know, then your, your people get notified. And if you don't have a big channel, they don't. And so those of us without very big channels, we often don't, you know, you have to check in on us to see how we're doing. So just keep that in mind if you're like, wow, she hasn't done anything in a while. No, she probably has. She probably just hasn't, um, you know, probably hasn't been notified, so. Alright, so one thing about Arteza paints, uh, the premixed pouring paints, I'm going to say straight away. They don't um, have any effects in them. They don't have any effects. So, and what I mean by that is like, um, I'm going to move this a little. Just a tiny bit closer if I can. Um, they don't have, they don't give you cells, they don't give you lacing. I'm suspecting that it's just the pigment with like a gloss medium or something. Oh, this is really hard to get open without, with my gloves on now. Hi Janet from Scotland. But I think they're just literally pigment and like gloss, a gloss medium or something. So versus like a flow trawl where you get the lacing and all that stuff. All right. These are the colors that I'm going to use right now. Just I want to show you just one with just this. So you can see how just the Arteza um, paints work. Literally you squeeze them straight into... The cup just like this now I think the consistency of these is fairly good it's not too thick it's not too thin me, my paints are a little thicker than this. Like, if I were to mix these up on, by myself, um, my consistency would be thicker. So, actually, it's a good test. If you want to know how I mix my paints, um, buy these and know that they're always thicker than this. <laughs> so, that is one thing I will say for sure. Alright, so this is just... Just doing some layers in this little cup, and that's plenty of paint for this little canvas, I'm sure. Let's do one more layer. And I 
I'm going to just do, um, yeah, flip cups work good with these. Um, like, in fact, Vendana says flip cup, let's just do a little flip cup. Um, dirty pours, little ring pours, they do pretty good. But if you want um, a lot of effects, this is probably not, um, initially, this may not be the, the one that you're looking for. But a flip cup helps get some of the lacing and stuff just because the force of gravity affects that. So my torch is in the other room. This is a travesty. Ugh. Um... Do I have problems with ready pour paints? I don't use ready pour paints because I'm too much of a control freak. <laughs> I like to control my paints, but today I just thought it would be fun and it took the pressure of me having to mix a bunch of paints. I'm gonna go grab my torch. is I just don't find that they have as many effects as if I use Floetrol, but that doesn't mean you can, there's a lot of things you can still do with these paints, and especially as a beginner, it can really help you understand consistencies and things like that, so I think that, um, there's really, I have never had any crazy issues or anything like that. Now, the cool part about this is, let's say I want a little bit more, well, I don't, can just do it I can literally just do it right on the canvas or in this case I'm just gonna do a little bit more in this cup and then it can be a just an, another little flip cup now value wise um, for paintings that I do this to me would not go very far because I do big paintings usually so but if you're someone who does little adorable little rounds like this you could do a lot of those with this paint pouring kit Erlene my most famous fabulous video is um it's the giant commission it's literally like maybe two videos back from this one, one or two, and it says tips for commissions. Well, wow, that's a really, really pretty part right here, and I wanna to try to preserve that if I can. I'm gonna just add, we could add pretty much any color right here, just to help this flow off the canvas a little bit. I'm going to use this lavender because it's not my favorite. And just a little pretty. I am getting some little interesting cells right here actually and that's probably the first time I've used this pouring, this ready to pour paint and I've gotten cells so it's interesting to see that happening right before my very eyes. This is also why, you know, I think sometimes we just, as artists, we just definitively say this is this and that is that, but man, it really depends on conditions. And right now it's pretty chilly in my house. Um, I haven't used the ready to ready pour paints for many, many months. Maybe they've made some adjustments to the, the mixture. Look how pretty that is though. It's just so gorgeous. This really pretty little painting. This could be so pretty for a background. Now, for those of you who are here in the beginning, I did I showed you that little painting that had the balloon rolls and, and um, I outlined them with my white pen. I could already see this being like a smaller version of that and how adorable it would be. Uh, Sarah Mack is in the house. Yay! And Patty Puckett Pouring Art. 
And Angela, nice to see you. And so this would be like, I could see, I'm actually going to do just a couple little balloon rolls on here just for fun. And you could use, this would be maybe a nice time to um, use one of these other colors that would maybe make it pop a little bit like, especially since you said Northern Lights, I think I'm going to try this little neon green color. And because that remind, would remind me of Northern Lights as well. I just like that. I'm going to try to show you. I can actually pick this little thing up. Really pretty that part right there. There's a lot of beauty in that. And actually, these little drips, you know, it'd be interesting to see what we could get if we just dipped this in a little you know that would be pretty with some resin on it maybe I could actually I like having the actual bark around the outside so I'm trying not to get that part dirty at all but a little, I, I'll try to try to do like a little balloon kiss on that and see what happens. Um, oh yeah, that would be a nice little tree ornament if you figured out how to um, hang those. So what other colors would go in Northern Lights? We have like the green and I'm trying to think, maybe I could do a little bit of yellow. Um, uh, thank you, Rocket Sauce. That's so nice for those of you who support my channel. I really appreciate that. It keeps things going. And all right, I'm going to try the neon or the lemon yellow, the neon green, and a little bit of um, just white for some of these a little balloon, balloon kisses real quick, just to see if we can get some pretty ones. Now where will they go? The first thing, of course, I don't want to, I don't want to put them anywhere that will mess this beautiful part up. So maybe just along this line over here. I want to make sure there's not too much paint left on this canvas. So. If you have, if you move your canvas and it's just like paint, it just goes really fast, you might have too much paint on it. So I'm really tilting and it's barely moving. That tells me that there's not a lot of paint left on the canvas. So that can help you avoid crazing um, and cracking or having any issues upon drying. Yes, it is pretty as it is, but you know, I. You know just for now just for this I want to I just want to do a little tiny bit more and play a little bit more with these I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow on here a little bit of green and like I said these are much thinner than my normal paints so um, and a little bit of white Oh, that's really thin too. Huh. We'll see how this goes. So, and I think that's one of the things, this is one of the reasons why I don't use really, really thin um, paints because I feel like I don't get the same effects with my balloon rolls. I like it's pretty, but it's never, they don't stay very well. I'm going to actually have to take a little bit of that paint off and start over. Okay, so that's what I'm doing, just removing some of that paint. And we have a brand new viewer, Rochelle. 
thank you so much for coming today. I really appreciate it. And it's nice to see new people still coming in. And do you realize that eight months I've been doing these lives, you guys, eight months already. <laughs> and um, 2021 has a lot of surprises coming. So I think I'm definitely going to still be doing these lives, but I also have some other things coming up for my channel. And um, so I'm pretty excited about what's going to happen this year. And um, I will still do the lives. I may not do them quite as often, but I will still do them. Um, this has been a really fun learning experience for me. Hi, Michelle. You're new too? Well, it's fun to have all these new people here to experiment, um, to, to watch me do these crazy experiments and to join in the fun. We do have a lot of fun here in this group, I think. Yeah, it's been a long time. And I know eight months, I just got a little notification and I, I had no idea. I thought it had just been maybe four months or so, but yeah, and I'm just starting to enjoy editing my videos again, and it took a long time. I really got burnt out there for a while. So I'm gonna do some edited videos too. Oh, too little. little fingers on my gloves. I needed to really cut those off truthfully because they get in the way. In fact, I might do that right now. Dam, uh, Lola? Dam Lola, is that how you say your name? Welcome to your first time here. So sweet to have it, you guys all here joining me. I was looking forward to this to all day. I kept thinking, oh my gosh, is it five yet? Is it five yet? I was actually early. <laughs> that never happens. So it was fun. It was fun. I missed you guys and Thanksgiving was wonderful. I did some Thanksgiving. Um, many of you might know or don't know, I'm a personal chef as well and I, I've run a personal chef and catering company, although not catering anymore so much, but um, since not since the C word, but um, so I made an uh, all of uh, an Amish Amish food. I made Amish Thanksgiving. <laughs> it was really crazy and fun, and I made all these recipes I've never tried before, and it was quite an experience. And they were very, very, very happy. Thank you, Marie. Hi, Melissa. Nice, nice to see you here. So I'm getting, so what I see with, with this paint is, um, as I'm doing my balloon rolls, because I, I am a balloon roll person, I'm definitely seeing they're very hard to stay on the, um, the canvas. It's very, very liquidy. And I'm going to do just one more on this one, and then we're going to move on to another canvas. <clears throat> However, I think that that's one of the things that you could do with the canvas panels that they provide um, is maybe we're going to just do some balloon kisses and see. I just don't, I, I get nervous that I make a beautiful painting and then it will warp and nobody wants that. So. This definitely has a really beautiful quality to it as the, as all those colors start to shine through. I'm going to hold this up for you so you can see it closer. And then we're going to move on to the next one. Let me hold this up. how that dries. I really like, 
I've been impressed with the way Arteza pen, paints dry in general. I feel like they do a pretty good job. So I'm still in love with this whole area over here. And um, this might be a pretty little piece to embellish later. Like, I'm kind of addicted to embellishing right now. Um, it's just something I started doing because I didn't have time to paint, to actually paint. So these little embellishments I can do without any mess and I can do them late at night after I'm tired and I need to just relax at the very, very end of the night and there's no cleanup or anything. Um, so, all right, so I feel like, you know, we did a good job showing um, what these paints will do, the consistency of them. I could do one more little um, canvas just to show you. And then I've seen, now Lisa, you're asking if there's any um, band, um, any brands that are better than others and I feel like the one that I keep consistently seeing that people like is the artist ready to artist lock ready to pour and I just never tried them um, if you want to see me try something on this channel that I haven't tried you can always send something to me on from my wish list and I'll be happy to try it with a little note or um, I'm totally willing to do whatever. I just haven't, I don't have it in my possession and haven't tried it yet. So I'd be happy to try them for you. There's a lot of artists that have tried them already and they seem to just have great results. So, all right, let's do, all right, we're just gonna use now, I've probably used it over half this bottle already. So that kind of gives you an idea of what you're looking at in terms of um, quantity. And that's why ultimately, if you decide to do paint pouring, ultimately, it's just great to learn how to mix your own paints and do that because it really, it actually really does save money for you to mix your own paints in the long run. There we go. I don't know, we might get some weird colors because I put purple next to green. I, I wasn't thinking very clearly just now, but we will see how this turns out. Bandana, <laughs> we're gonna, Bandana's gonna come to Washington and we're gonna hang out with masks on, right, Bandana? <laughs> Hi, Christina, Christina Welsh. Did I not see you in the house? Aw, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so another flip cup would be pretty. I really liked the colors on that one, but I wanna show you how well this, um, works for a ring pour too, so you can kind of get the idea. Oh, I'm out of this color now. So that tells you already, just with two little 10 by 10 canvases, I'm pretty much out of paints, uh, at least one of the colors. So, you know, So I just did like a little ring pour and like a little jiggle. And there's plenty of paint on here for this. Um, one thing is because you shake up the bottles right before you open them, there is little bubbles. So 
<laughs> can you fly in from Illinois? You know, I would love to have like a whole little convention of my um, live uh, followers. That wouldn't that be fun? Can we wait until this? We all are, you know. What's the word? <laughs> I don't want to say vaccinated, but you know, it would be nice to know that everyone is safe. I personally have a lot of health conditions and I can't get sick, so I just would love to meet everybody. I think it would be so fun and um, we would have a great time, wouldn't we? Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. I really feel like when you use these paints, it's almost just like paint pouring 101. Like you, it, It's hard to go wrong. And so this would be a good confidence builder set. If you're kind of nervous and you feel like you don't know what you're doing and or you're failing in your pores, this might be a good way to just try because they they do have some really pretty little effects. Um, you don't get a lot of lacing or anything, but man, if you add silicone to this, you would get a lot of cells, I think. And we could certainly try that. But this might just be one of those. Wow, I love this over here. Oh, Heather, I just messed it up. Oh, well. Um, I'm going to try to get more of that showing because I really, really love it. So. Pretty. Let's make sure all the sides are covered. The sides on this are gorgeous. Those beautiful lines. This would just be a beautiful background to something, wouldn't it? I think if someone asked me would I recommend this kit, I would definitely say yes because it's, you can really get some pretty effects. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous right there. It looks like a wing, a butterfly wing almost. Thank you so much, Aline, for coming. Oh, Pammy, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. If you guys want to support the channel too, you can leave um, a super chat like she just did and that's really appreciated um, or you can leave a tip if you are not comfortable leaving a super chat I do have a PayPal link in my description box if you don't have money to leave a tip which you know let's face it we're all in different uh, situations right now you can always shop the Amazon shop and that doesn't cost you anything and I get a little bit um, share you know just getting my videos out there helps support the channel other people will watch the ads and that's how we all make revenue wow this is really pretty like i'm very pleased with that right now it's just like very vibrant and beautiful just a simple pour just a simple little pour really pretty I'm going to um, set this off to the side. I'm really glad we did that one. I was like, eh, I don't know if I need to, but it, it, it was really fun to do that. We should do one more, too, at least. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, thank you, Bandana. It is, you, you still have to kind of check on... Um, You still kind of have to check to see if you get any updates because unfortunately YouTube doesn't always share those updates notifications I guess that's what that's what it's called you, you want to be sure to get notified you may still have to check in at some point to see but at least you're subscribed to the channel and you might see it in your Try not to get paint on things. I have commissions over here and I have 
um, things that I absolutely cannot get any paint on right now. So. Those are both really pretty. Those actually, I wish I could take my camera over there because look, looking at them together, they look really pretty. They would make a fun set. Um, Christina, no, I did not get my box. Uh-uh. I did not get my box today. I don't know if I was supposed to, and we did check the mail, so... Janice, that's great. I think, you know, we need to support small business owners right now because those of us um, who rely on this stuff, I mean, this, yeah, this is the only way we're going to make it through, right? Okay, now I'm going to do, thank you, Michelle. Okay. What I'm going to do next is, I have two things I've been thinking about in the back of my mind, and I'm trying to decide which one I'm going to do. One might be an experimentation thing that I do another time, uh, another day, like in private. I don't really get to paint in private very much anymore because I it seems like I don't paint very much, but my alcohol ink paintings have been going and um, and they're not as messy and they don't have as much prep, so I do have to wear a mask, so I don't love doing that, but they are really fun. Now this is a canvas panel. This is what actually came with the kit, and I told you I was going to try to figure out something to do with that. So I think... In order for it not to warp, we want just a very micro thin layer um, on this. So Christina, is it coming? It's coming tomorrow? Okay, good. I'll keep an eye out for it too. I can't wait. Um, I've, I've had them warp, both warp and not warp. So traditionally they warp when I do a whole big pour over it like I just did with the other two canvases. So see how thin they are? So it might depend on where you live. Like I live in Oregon. We don't have, it's really wet and moist here. So I'm wondering what if I did something, let's see, do I have a piece of paper right now? I may very well just use this. I'm just going to use this as a, make sure you guys can see everything. Um, okay, I made up some colors of my own today as well. And for those of you who are just joining me, I did test, I just did two paintings with the Arteza. And I wanted to sh really show you what those are like without adding any other colors or anything else to them. And now I want to do just um, <laughs> what I would just say, mess around. I just want to play around. I just would like to just play around and let my creativity just flow. So, oh, Selena, I know. It. So uh, we all go through the slumps, right? One thing I find myself is if I'm in a really bad slump, um, one thing I find that works good is to do a different medium just all together. Like, I'll just start doing watercolor, I'll start doing, and I'm not even good at those. Like, I'm not good at watercolor, I'm not, um, I, you know, I, it's not my thing. But pencil, charcoal, just something expressive. Um, some people might do knitting or whatever, but it's just good to just... Hi Kelly, nice to see you. Gotta handle your business. So for those of you who just joined me, I wanted to show you this. I did make these colors and I'm going to just drizzle some of these over 
over here first. I don't know, I've never done this before, but I've just been thinking about doing it. So you know how I normally drizzle my colors on my balloon? And I was thinking, what if I drizzle my colors on a separate, you know, in a separate place? And then, and then use those to dip the balloon in. And because like, for, for example, this canvas panel, we don't want very much paint on there because I don't want it to work. So I'm just curious how this would look if I did this. So I just decided to try and we'll just see what happens. It may be stupid. It may not work at all. This is nickel azo gold right here. And that might just be a weird color to throw in there, but I'm going to try it. I don't know if I, I'm going to have to do that every single time I want to make a dip, which would take really long, but we can chat. <laughs> we can chat. So I'm going to take this and at least make at least part of this. on a dry canvas it's fun because you get a lot of effects in terms of patterns but what you don't get is the interplay between the bottom layer and the top layer so it makes me wonder if maybe I put some gold on here, just maybe a little bit of gold, or maybe I just go ahead and, I don't know, layer this right here, I don't know, just thinking out loud here, people. Maybe I'll just put this right on the canvas and see what happens. That nickel azo gold is an unexpected surprise for sure in here and I, I do kind of like it. This is the Jacquard, um, is it Pearl X pigment with a gloss medium in it and some Floetrol. And that one, this seems a really pretty one. See, let's just see what this does when we dip this in here. I'm going to try to do a few rolls. I did this video, my first, my the most popular video I did first was called Balloon Rolls Without, or it was called Acrylic Pouring Without a Cup. And um, this was basically what the whole thing was, was putting the paint on the canvas. See, this is how impatient I am. There is no way that I can sit here and do all that each time. <laughs> There's no way. It's just not happen. It's not going to happen, I can tell you that right now. This is Payne's Gray, by the way. I kind of like having the control over this too so this way I could just put more thought into the composition of this so maybe I would have some of this this is alizarin crimson and Payne's gray mixed together and this is just straight alizarin crimson I don't know, sometimes these, the ones that look the weirdest uh, wet, when they dry, they're the most interesting. And um, so I find that kind of interesting. I 
Let's see, where do we want some of this? The gold helps make some cells, so let's put some gold in there for sure. I'm probably going to put it all over. Now, I'm putting a really thin layer because I, again, I think these canvas panels tend to warp, so I'm not trying to make that happen. There's a lot of people watching here tonight. Y'all are being kind of quiet. Is everybody painting or eating dinner or... Oh, I'm, I'm wanting to get those mixed media gel sticks. I haven't bought them yet, That's, but it's on my list of things. Oh, you're all watching me? Oh no. <laughs> Cheryl. No pressure or anything. Oh, I forgot. I'm, I'm live, right? <laughs> ah, let's get this out of the way because I'm clearly not using it. Oh, Julie, yeah, you have to go back to bed. It was nice to see you. Uh, Julie Thatcher and I are doing a collaboration. The reason why no one has seen this collaboration yet is because I, is she's waiting on me. <laughs> just so you all know, she's just waiting on me. So, but it's going to be a beautiful collaboration and I've seen her um, gorgeous paintings already. So I can't wait to uh, show that to you and actually I, I need to paint them I've just been so busy coming um hopefully Christmas time I have some uh, some time off not a lot but enough that I could spend time just doing some paintings that I want to do for fun and uh you know What? Who's saying that, wait, who's saying that even your balloon rolls don't work? Have you tried using a glove? Because I feel like that's the biggest mistake people make is they try to use an actual balloon. And a glove is awesome because you put your thumb in and then you can really hold it. And a balloon is kind of um, hard to control and this gives you a lot more control now this is extremely extremely busy like I am not sure but I don't know yet let's just give it one second I'm it, it may grow on me oh good Andrew, this canvas board right now will not work. You know how I know? It's already drying. Like this very first balloon roll I did like 10 minutes ago, it's almost, it's already drying. There's no way that this is going to work right now. But it's only because I have hardly any paint on this canvas. I mean, it's literally, yeah. I'm getting some cool cells in here. The gold, of course, makes cells and it's mixed with Floetrol, so... It's gonna. It's the 24 karat gold by. Now look, I can turn it this way. That's how little paint is on there, and it's not running. <laughs> so that just gives you an idea. Like it, it, this one won't work because, and so this is one way that you could do something pretty with um, these canvas panels, and this would be a great background for something. Um, I'm gonna do one thing to kind of the one thing I I need for this painting is a focal point. Um, my eye is all over the place. It is really pretty and very flowy, and I do love that. I did this on a dry canvas uh, board, yes. Totally dry canvas board with no base paint at all. Um, and there's little spots where the canvas is showing through, but it's it has been covered with a little bit of a balloon roll, but not very much. But it's a black canvas board, so it's... Um, it's okay, even if it's a little transparent. Um, I want to do something to give my eye a focus for this piece. 
So I'm going to pick one color, neutral. Let's see. I have a lot of white in there, so let's say black. And I'm going to just give this a little place for our eye to rest, okay? Now the cool part about black is that um, with black you don't need, well I might do black and white just because it needs a little bit more paint on there. <clears throat> it goes with every color. These two colors go with every color so no matter what I do. Alright, here we go. I'm going to, let me look at this in all directions. So now what I see when I look at this is these little black and white flowers traveling up this crazy sea of colors. I really love this part right here. It needs one here, but I don't want to do it because... Thank you, Cheryl. I do have a huge number of Moon Rolls uh, videos on here, actually. Um, a whole playlist. It's just ginormous. <laughs> so one thing I've been thinking about doing is... Um, uh, I just have to. It just needs that for the composition of it. And then one more here going that direction and then that's it so now to me like this has a it, it's the law of thirds basically so I have a heavy weight over here and it and it, it's basically a third of the canvas covered with these but they're in a, a way that brings your eye around to the center what do you guys think hi Roxanne Now this will this will not warp. It literally will not. It's already starting to dry in some places. So this is going to be not warpable. I hope I make the balloon roll look easy because I've been doing it for like a year and a half or, or so. <laughs> so that was fun. So we have a white canvas too. I could easily do that same thing to this white canvas uh, panel. I just got paint on something. Wow, Laura, that is so generous. You are so awesome. Thank you so much. Merry, whoops, Merry Christmas to me. How amazing is that? I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much. Janet, good night. Thank you for joining us. Wow, that is so sweet, Laura. All right, let's do this canvas panel at least, and then I'm going to show you we can do it again if I could open this thing. So even though I wouldn't recommend just doing like a total actual pour on this canvas because you may experience warping, um, it goes to show there's a lot of things that you can do with these panels even if you don't use a brush. So this one will be a lot quicker because I learned that I don't, I just want to do it straight on the panel instead of doing it like this. 
Now this one I can be a lot more calculated with the colors, so I'm going to do that. Mary Lorusik, oh, all the way from Toronto, thank you for coming. I love me some Canadians. I have an affinity for Canadians. <laughs> I have to tell you, Canadians are some of my favorite people. For real. All right, this is Payne's Gray. And this time, like I said, I'm going to be more calculated with the color scheme. So I'm going to put some of this Payne's Gray around the end, uh, edge. And this is a very small amount of paint. This is the paint that I mixed up myself um, with, gosh, it's been like four weeks since I mixed up most of this paint. I just really refreshed it. So I think it was mostly with Floetrol. Most of this paint was just mixed with Floetrol. <laughs> Americans are some of your favorite people. And it just seems like we're getting such a bad rap right now. But I'm, I'm glad to hear that. It makes me feel good. <laughs> it's wonderful. Amazing. All right, I'm going to put some of this down. I love this beautiful color, but I don't want it all over because I'm going to use um, I'm going to use some reds and stuff on this side. So for this side, I'm going to use this was Payne's gray and um, alizarin crimson. So I'm kind of building two sides here. A warmer side and a cooler side and then we're gonna see what happens I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the middle I'll probably put some sort of color in there that's neutral to all like a gold or something hi Ireland oh Kate am I keeping you awake <laughs> sorry sorry if I'm keeping you awake y'all are keeping me uh, entertained because well like I said I've been waiting for this all day it's just crazy how much I missed this and I felt ready to see you guys and so I was really excited all right we have in keeping with the cool side I'm gonna put just a little bit here and there of the Arteza paint and then let's do a flash here and there. This is, I know this is a lot, but I'm going to do just here and there little drops of this neon green. We're going to see if we can get some little effects, some little bright spots here and there with that. I think that'll be pretty. And then with the warm colors, maybe little drops of yellow over here. Let's see if we can get any cool effects with that. Hi Kate, so nice to see you. Okay, the weirdo color, let's do it. I love this color and it's probably one of my favorites. It's nickel azel gold. And it is kind of a bizarro little color but it is so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna do gold in the, I think both sides, that'll help tie the whole thing together. So, and it makes cells. So I, I definitely wanna do some gold in the whole thing and it'll give some interest to it. This side over here is quickly becoming my favorite. No offense to the cool side, but um, the warm side down here is like, ooh, I think that looks pretty already. Just the colors. <clears throat> Australia. Hi, Sue. Lance, you're so welcome. Thank you for coming. 
Thank you for my beautiful little fairy. I can't pick her up and show her again right now because my hands are dirty. But for those of you who just came in, Lance did this beautiful little ornament and, and you should visit his shop. Um, his link is in my description box. Thank you for coming. And Lance, you should share this video. Um, there will be a replay that comes on, so you should definitely share this replay with everybody and uh, people can see your beautiful work on my channel. All right. I'm going to do something crazy here and just put... Now, I, I don't want to pour a lot of white paint. I don't want to because, like I said, I don't want this canvas panel to warp, but I'm going to try to get some... Ooh, I already contaminated the white. Dang it. I really didn't want to do that. I really just wanted the center to be very white. How long have I been doing this? Um, I've been pouring for exactly two years in November. So, yeah, you know, just two years and it seems like I've had my channel for about a year and a little while. I want to make sure that I'm distributing this white paint. Okay, let's do some balloon rolls, people, and see what happens. Let me get some. Ooh, potatoes, onions, and sausage. I need, I need some dinner. <laughs> I do. I need some dinner right now. That sounds awesome. Okay, here we go. So if I start here, I'm going to bring all this white out. But if I start here, I'll bring the colors into the white. So that's what my thought process is right now, really, like in terms of what I should do. Um, I'll probably end up doing like a little mixture of both, to be honest. And I think I just need a little bit more Payne's Gray over here on this corner. And maybe it's coming down. All right. I'm going to set this out of the way. I'm not a worldwide superstar. <laughs> Someone else said, oh, you know, you, I don't know, they made a reference. I don't think of myself that way. I'm just like an average person doing art. Um, I'm extremely driven, extremely driven person. So when I do something, I, I rarely do it halfway. So that is one thing about me for sure. So I definitely don't start something that I don't want to finish. It's why I make promises the way I do. I only make a promise if I'm really sure that I'm going to be able to to follow through. So I don't see myself that way. It was really sweet. Thank you. I wish I would. Okay, so my initial thought of this is I wish I wouldn't have layered so much white in the center. That's my first thought, but potentially it can still work. I can still pick up some of it with my balloon and move it around and move it off of there if I need to. Although it does bring color into it, unfortunately, when I do that. These, um, how will this look when it's dry? Well, like I was saying on the last one, it was literally starting to dry already. So it will look exactly the same. That's one of the reasons I mix my paints the way I do, um, is there's not a lot of shifting that occurs with them uh, in terms of patterns. So, um, Annette, thank you so much for coming, and you have a wonderful weekend, too. I appreciate you being here. 
Oh, see, the, look, the part I loved already, it's already showing me why I love it. Look at that. It's a little blurry. I don't know why. But I wish I could show you. There's just so much going on down here with all these beautiful cells. No. The blue is just kind of, or blue, it's going to be Payne's Gray. The Payne's Gray is going to dry a little darker than this. That's the one paint on here that I'm certain will be drier. Um, hi, Sophia. Now let's do this color. This is the cool side and see what we get in terms of some of the pretty effects. Just like I said, those little pops, those little tiny drops. Remember over here I put little drops of yellow and over here I put the little drops of the neon green. Not a color I would normally use, like neon green is not my favorite color. But it just adds that something to oh, just here and there, just little pops of color that add interest and depth. And, you know, one way to add depth to your paintings is to use a high, uh, um, man, I really, I'm not sure exactly what the term is, but you want to use um, a highlight color and low light. So, you know, brights. And, and then dark tones, and um, I try to do that with every painting that I do. So the one thing I'm not loving about this one is the composition is off a little bit, so I'm going to try to bring some of this down into here so we just get a little bit more of an equal composition. I don't want it to look bizarre. And a hundred and twenty nine people here. Wow. Thanks for joining me tonight, you guys. It's always fun, and I really love doing these little painting events. I was terrified. What's funny is tonight I even started to get nervous. <laughs> and I've been doing this for eight months, and I'm still, I still just get nervous every now and again. Um, right before the live, I just think that's hilarious. Because, like, what's the worst that's going to happen? Right? Hmm, I don't necessarily want that little color right there. Let me see if I can get it out. Ah! No, I just made it worse and worse and worse. Let's see. I don't want to put too much paint on this board. This is really pretty. The one thing I wish I had, and I think I'm just gonna do it. So here's the thing, you, okay, you get your painting, you're pretty much done with it. Um, you see a color that you like more of. I add that color to my balloon like this and then usually with something else so I'm gonna add it with this with this because I think that was my prettiest favorite combination right here and I just wanted a little bit more of that pop in there and then I got it so now it just brought in a little bit more of that nickel hazel gold that I'm in love with hi Cheryl Um, how do I mix my paints? I mix my paints with Floetrol and water um, for the most part. I use every kind of pouring medium there is 
but flow trial tends to be kind of like my go-to so I, I do my flow trial more than any other kind and um, you know it's it's easy it's economical um, I like the way it mixes with my paints I like the consistency so in general that's the one that I I tend to use more than anything um, and it's just flow trial and water and that's it I do have my paint mixing tutorial will tell you there's one called a peacock um, paint mixing. Actually, Cheryl, that's a good one. That peacock paint mixing one. Ah, oh, Molly's artistry's in the house. Hi, Molly. Thank you so much. Molly and I have a little surprise coming too that I'm gonna um, be showing you soon. So I can't wait to roll that out. It's always fun to get to work with other other artists. Um, and like I said, you know, Julie Vatcher has been waiting on me for a while. And I can't wait to, to work with Molly on her little thing too. So it's always something fun on the channel to look forward to. Um, all right, I had one, I was gonna do one thing, just one thing I really wanted to do. There, I just brought in a little bit more of that um, pop, that neon color, because I thought it would be pretty in there. And it was, and that's it, you guys. So I could do the little, like with the last one, I did the black and white, but why? <laughs> like, I feel like this one has plenty of interest. I was able to really focus um, on the composition. I got to really control the colors here. I don't think there's anything left to do. <laughs> Thank you, Shelly. If you guys are ever interested in my art, um, please let me know. These canvas panels, I don't, I don't usually sell for very much. So if this is one that you're interested in, um, you know, just hit me up if you ever see a painting that you like. They're all for sale. And usually if you buy them from me directly and not in my shop, I can work with you on pricing. I'm really in love with this painting. Pretty happy with that, you guys. Well, I think it's 6.30. We've been going for an hour and a half. And as much as I love painting with you guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. Um, to all of you who supported me with the super chats, many blessings to you and to all of you who support my channel continually. Uh, it means so much to me and I appreciate each and every one of you for all that you do for Heather Meter Art. I hope that you enjoy these little tutorials and our time together on Friday nights because um, it's fun for me. I know that sometimes I'm tired and I'll just be like, oh, I can't do it. And then I get on with you guys and I'm so enlivened and you guys really bring my spirit up. It's, um, oh gosh, I'm get, I'm trying to, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Aw, I really do love you guys and I appreciate all that you do. So, that's it. So, Thanks so much, everybody, and um, if you ever have any questions or anything, please, you know, hit me up on social media. I'm Heather Meter Art everywhere, pretty much on social media, and uh, so I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Love you, big squishy hugs, and um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Look forward to me uh, next week, next Friday. Oh, that's one thing. Um, so next Friday, I'm going to be, I'm going to try uh, for next Friday. I do have a chef job that day, and I'm going to try to get done with it early enough to still do the live. 
If, we're, if you follow me on Facebook, you'll always get the updates. That's one thing. Go to Heather Mater Art on Facebook or Heather Mater Art on Instagram. I try to update there if I'm canceling the live or, or for any reason or not doing it. So it's, it's great if you can follow me on social media somewhere and then you'll get the updates no matter what. Um, and Cheryl, it's Heather Mater Art, not Heather Mater. Um, Heather Mater Art. And, uh, and then I can let you know. It's okay. I just want people to know the right thing. So, um, thank you so much and I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.